Yeah, there guys. Uh, just going to show you how you can make these uh, holographic videos to view uh, using the Explain Everything app. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to assume that I've already made my video and it's being stored in my camera roll. So I'll just open up Explain Everything here and in the top left corner I'll press on the plus button and from the color templates I'm going to select the black background. Uh, next along the side I'm going to uh, touch on the green plus button to add some media just here and I'm going to select existing photo or video and then I'm going to scroll through my camera roll uh, until I find a video that will one that is going to work well we'll choose uh, this one here will be fine for now okay so you can't really see the video too well because I've put a uh, put it against a black background and and uh, the video, these videos tend to work better against darker backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is just reposition my video so it's about that size. And I'm going to move it into this position. So the aim is to create four of these videos, all with different orientations and in a different position. But uh, it's a bit tricky. So what I'll do next um, is I'll click on the I button in the left-hand corner. And I'm going to click on my video again. And then you can see all the options in that menu just lit up. So I'm going to click on copy. And then I'm going to click on paste. And it will just make an identical copy. Now I'm going to turn this in this direction. Okay, so I'm just using multi-touch gestures there to, to spin it 90 degrees. And I want to move it so that it occupies that position there. And I just noticed this one's not quite straight. So I'll just even that up. It looks a bit better. And I've got two videos on there now, um, and I want to do this two more times. So I've got four videos, each with a, a different position and a different uh, orientation. So I'll click the I button again, my menu will pop up, and I'll click on Paste. And this time I'm going to spin this 180 degrees, and I can line it up to make sure it's the same size. The more care you take with this, and uh, the more accurate you are, the better. Now I've just noticed that's not quite right, is it? This one here needs to look like this. Okay. So like I said, the more care and precision you make with this, the better the video will be. This is I'm just doing it a bit rough at the moment to get through the video, give you the general idea. Right, and I need one more video on there. So I select my eye again and click paste. And this one is positioned here. Right now, the, the aim is once these are all positioned in the right place, is to get them playing at the same time. Now, if I just touch on one of these, that bar will come up, that icon, and it's quite difficult to press that plus button to get all these playing at exactly the same point. So what I'm going to do, uh, first is I'll select the loop button on each of these, which means they'll just continuously loop. And I know that the videos are about 9 or 10 seconds long, so I'm going to press play on the first one. 13 seconds. All right, and then when I reckon that's about to finish, it's got five seconds to go. These menus disappear on their own. I'm going to press play on the next one. So these two now should start to play at the same time. It's pretty good. And now what I need to do is select my third video. And press play on that. And I think this one's going to be a bit out. Can see already that it is. So the third one isn't quite right, so what I'm going to do is drag that back to the start and try and get it at exactly the same time as the others. This one looks a bit better. Cool. Okay, so they're all pretty much lined up. Just got to get my fourth one now to play at the same time, so I'll wait for the video to get right to the end and press the play. They're slightly out. Pretty close. I'm, I'm happy with that. Like I said, the closer you are to getting this right, the more precise, the better your holographic video will be. Now that's happened, I'm just going to make sure that the, the video menu bar has disappeared from all of them, and it has. So what I'm talking about is that menu there. I don't want that to appear. So, sorry, I just had the arrow on the screen. So now what I can do is press the record button at the bottom of the screen down here. I'll just wait for the video to get to the start again. So that will record everything that's happening on the screen there. 
and we're going to let it record for uh, one complete viewing or one complete length of the video. Okay, I'm going to press on the record button again. And now that's stopped. And now what I'm going to do is click this icon down here, which is the export movie. And I'm going to export it to my camera roll. And depending on the length of, uh, of your video, the longer it'll take to process. This takes four minutes so far, but it's coming down pretty quickly. Okay, so once the video is compiled, you can go into your camera roll, or your photos, and you'll notice down here, uh, it's stored. And so that's really, with your holographic projector, you can press play. Maybe turn the sound off. Okay, and you can view that through your holographic projector. All right, any questions, let me know.